guys, welcome back to Dan's Aquarium. Hope everybody's doing really, really well. So, when I was last at Pets at Home at, and I got them Mollies and that Guppy, I got given these of the member of staff. It is common fish diseases and about cleaning up. I'm going to give you tips now of what Pets at Home reckon that you should do. So, common diseases, dropsy. Symptoms. Your fish scales will become raised given the appearance of a pine cone. It may be lethargic, moving less and uninterested in its food. Alright, for, for dropsy, treatment is add an antibacterial treatment to your tank, carefully following the instructions to ensure the right dose. So if you've got, if you've got dropsy, you have to follow the guidelines to it. Fin, tail, and mouth rot. Symptoms. If the fins or tail are affected, these will look fray and damaged. If it's in the mouth, it will look decay with pink and white patches of fluff. Treatment. Anti-fin rot treatments are available. You can also add aquarium tonic salt to help. But you should check any instructions before using both at the same time. Any area is not too badly affected by the rot usually regrow. But this could take a while. So if you've got fin rot or mouth rot, mouth rot, you know what to do. Balvet disease, never heard of it. Symptoms. Your fish will be covered in tiny white spots. It may look like sprinkling of icing sugar. These are actually irritating parasites and your fish may rub it against stones or try to remove them. You'll also notice rapid gill movements. Treatment, anti-velvet disease treatment, following the instructions carefully. Never noticed that. White spot. Oh, I've had white spot before. I've dealt with white spot. I've showed you guys how you deal with it. But yeah, you get white spot treatment and add it to the water, do a little bit of water change. Some of you guys know already know. Fungus. Fungus grows on fish in white or grey patches that look like cotton wool. It can appear on the body or fins. This is particularly common in live bearers, fancy goldfish or gouramis. So if you've got any of them fish, be careful. Fungus is easy to treat with an antifungus remedy. Aquarium tonic salt can also work to fight fungus. And that's the rest of it there, look. I can't really see, but yeah, it's large external parasites. See paras parasites attached to the fish. The most common are fish flies, which look like round discs or small bugs. And the treatment for that, you should never try to remove the parasites by hand. Instead, add an ex external parasite treatment. Slime disease. Your fish will be covered in excess mucus, which makes it cloudy grey colour. You often notice rapid gill movements and a lack of activity. Treatments. Specialist slime disease treatments are available. Follow the instructions carefully. And then you have swim bladder problems, which majority of you already know what swim bladder is. And ulcers. You can get treatments for also the antibacterial ulcer treatment to tackle the problem and yeah happy happy healthy fish it's important to know how to keep your fish healthy and how to help them if they're unwell so here you have find the information about the most common diseases in fish both cold water and tropical varieties suffer from keep this leaf foot handy and if you notice any changes in your fish you can act fast so that is that one guys and the second one is choosing your fish it's got like a list there of what fish you can choose and how you go about it so choosing a fish finding your favorite make sure it's got room to grow when you pick them up make sure you leave the bag in the tank for 10 to 15 minutes so the temperatures match a healthy fish a healthy start watching the water unhappy fish and your happy fish checklist and it gives you a checklist of what you can take so before you get your fish make sure you have everything you need 
with our handy checklist aquarium filtering sponges heater for tropical tanks air pump lighting gravel plants ornaments water water testing kit filter boost fish net clear cleaning pad or scraper siphon or gravel hoover and bucket so yeah that's all that and then on the back it's just got just all that just what it says on the front so yeah make sure you give this video a good thumbs up if you'd like me to do more of these videos let me know and i'll get some more leaf different leaflets on what what stuff to do with fish and let you guys know make sure you give this video a good thumbs up like and subscribe turn that notification bell on we're 444 subscribers so nearly at 500 let's get to 500 guys i'll see you in the next one peace